after a year of investigation, five hours of deliberation, and testimony from many individuals. The jury has found 18-year-old Joshua Tuff guilty in both charges for the murder of three-week-old Ashton Richardson. We were able to secure convictions as to both felony murder as well as child abuse first degree. During the past year, Tuff was interviewed five times, and during every interview, he changed his story. I lie about her, I lie about what happened, I say I dropped real late, and that didn't happen. Initially, it was I have no idea what happened. Then it was, well, I tripped with the baby and made a Michael Cobb's whiplash. He said he con contacted a doctor who said it couldn't, baby Ashton couldn't have incurred those injuries due to the whiplash. Then he finally admitted that he, when he tripped, he fell back and dropped the baby. And finally, his last statement was he tripped, he fell back, and he tossed the baby. These convictions could get tough spending the rest of his life in prison. But since he was only 17 when the murder occurred, there is still a chance he would not serve the full time. I understand he's a, a young man, 17 years old, but given the gravity of what he did to just an infant is reprehensible. And I, with his history, I believe life without parole is proper. Ashton's mother, Kirsten Richardson, was also convicted per plea to child abuse in the third degree, in which she served her time over the past year. And that was based upon the fact she knew Mr. Tuff had a violent history, uh, he had uh, mood disorders, and the fact that it took almost a half hour to call 911. Tuff is looking at the possibility of life without parole. His sentencing is scheduled for May 28th. In Preskill, this is Ashley McDowell, WBKB News.